Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back again to Austin Sports Weekend with Austin, the man himself right here. We are back for more NFL football. But, but before we get started, thanks again to uh, SevereTV.com for Sponsored by. Brought to you by Autographs Plus. Also, thank them for uh, uh, sponsoring us, giving us some signed helmets here. A little Peyton Manning, a little Alvin Kamara on that one side there. But let's jump into NFL football. We Hope have you our, had a good Thanksgiving. Yo, happy, happy late Thanksgiving. Happy. Uh, we, have, we hope you had a good Thanksgiving. There was some good Thanksgiving football on. We just finished week 12. Let's, Let's start off with a beatdown. A beatdown. My Cowboys. Completely beat the snot out of the Commanders. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it, it was a shocking, but, uh, you know, the 45. Cowboys, 45 to 10 was sort of shocking. You know, the Cowboys were only 3-3 three and three under Dak on Thanksgiving Day. Don't you just love that stat? I hate that stat. But anyway, they looked, the Cowboys looked really good against the Commanders, or either the Commanders looked really bad against the Cowboys. And maybe. they fired their defensive coordinator. Yeah, after giving up 45. Dallas has put some – Dallas has had some – Dallas at home this year is undefeated. They're pretty good in they're, AT&T. They're really good at at t They've lost three on the road, a couple of them close. But still, though, at home uh, – there's no place like it. There's no place like home. So they looked really good against the Commanders. Now, do you know there's now whether they hang that again? They're beating some teams they should beat badly, but badly. That is that. That's the only positive thing. They didn't beat them, you know, twenty-one to seventeen. Beat them by thirty-five. <laughs> beat them by thirty-five. So that that looks positive. We'll just see if they can keep it going or not. Or whether they speaking of keeping it going, a Lions tradition losing on Thanksgiving. I really thought the Lions would be up for this. Maybe they were just too anxious to eat the turkey leg. I don't know, but the the only one that was up with it was Jordan Love. Don't you? I'm loving it. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. He looked. <laughs> he actually looked pretty good, didn't he? He was. He was uh, slinging the ball everywhere, getting passes. The Packers are either a really Pretty good looking team, or they are the worst team in football. There is no in the middle when this team plays. No, it's just hard to really it's make up the Packers. Tell. It's hard to tell. They might lose uh, next week, twenty nine to ten or something. I really don't <laughs> know what to tell with them. Uh, but I really thought the Lions would be up more than this. I, I almost think that they were at home eating turkey instead of at the game or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but congrats to the Packers. They're they're not dead yet. In so, a very weak NFC. Mm -hmm. The NFC is definitely down. Uh, and then our last game, we had three of them on there. Had the 49ers, Seahawks, and we thought this one would be what it was. 31-13. to 13. The 49ers are healthy. De uh, no, let me, let me, Debo Samuels is healthy. Yeah, there you go. So the 49ers won 31-13. To 13. To 13. Uh, again, if uh, Debo Sa and Trent Williams, we, gotta say, we, we can't leave out the big guys on the line. Trent Williams, is he must be a huge part of their team too because he was out Debo was out they looked average at best they came back again they're probably going to the Super Bowl so there, there the, we go those two make a make a huge difference but the 49ers look really really good and then we had some Friday we had some Black Friday football felt like a black funeral for the Jets yeah 34 another 34 to 13 you bench Zach Wilson and the offense just looks as awful as ever the Dolphins are the Dolphins are pretty good, though. The, the, the good. Did you see where Tyreek Hill said that uh, this year's Dolphins is just as good as the 2019 Chiefs? You'd have or to prove better, it in the playoffs. Better. He said better than the 2019 Chiefs. You'd have to prove it in the playoffs. Uh, again, the Dolphins are a really, really, really good team, but they haven't beat anybody that good. That good yet. You know, uh, they've, you know they've had some good wins. You know, they're 8-3. and three. Uh, but those, let's look at those teams they've beat. They've beat the Jets, uh, the Raiders, uh, the Patriots, the Panthers, the Giants, the Broncos, the Patriots, and the Chargers. So they beat the Broncos early in the season by that by 50 points, <laughs> but they, you know, they haven't. They, they haven't beat anybody really significantly strong. And, and they've got the Titans and the Jets coming up before they get to the Cowboys. And then they they do finish the year Cowboys, Ravens, Dolphins. So they're, they will prove themselves towards the end of the year. But uh, right now, you got to give them props. They, they're, again, they're beating who they need to, 35 to 13. 
Jump on into our Sunday games. I'm going to need therapy. <laughs> Panthers lost 10 to 17 at Carolina. That can tell you I mean, how many. I mean, at Tennessee. I'm going to need therapy. You're going to have to pin me in on therapy. I'm probably not going to be in this chair at the end of the year. They're not winless. They got one win. And what was it that they beat? They beat a pretty good team. Houston, didn't they? Barely. But still, though, they beat the Houston. They beat Houston, so they're not winless. They're not over, but but they are one for. And do you know how bad it's gotten? Let me tell you how bad it's. I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent. I've had well, it up to here with this franchise <laughs> and its ahead. ownership. Go right ahead. David well, they, they, Tipper. They did fire their coach. Frank Reich is out of here. And we thought that he needed to be. So Frank Reich is fired. He's out. But the owner goes up to the podium and says one of the dumbest things I yeah. have ever heard an owner say. The Panthers traded three, two first-round picks and like two or three. They, anyway, they traded a bunch of first-round picks and D.J. Moore to get – Bryce Young Bryce in the Young. first place. That, they, did, they did all of that so they could have the number one pick and get Bryce Young. And Tepper goes up there and says that he wanted C.J. all along. He wanted C.J. Stroud. He didn't want Bryce Young. And so, even though... Even though they traded be, the franchise away <laughs> to get Bryce Young. He wanted C.J. instead. I don't know. That's what my franchise is. Do you see... You're, you're like that with me and the Cowboys. Do you see what my <laughs> franchise is? Yeah. Do you see? They're, they're uh, struggling, I guess you could say. More like, like dysfunctional disaster. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully, hope, hopefully they can pull things good because they will be starting a new coach this week. Yeah. They brought in who? Was it the special teams coach? Yeah. Yeah, they brought up the special teams coach to be the head coach. So hopefully this uh, the week. The Titans get a win. Against a team that... Check this out right here. The Titans are two wins. Or t no, they're two losses away from having the number two pick. They're two wins away from being in the playoffs. <laughs> How's that for nuts? I don't I don't <laughs> see how the Titans make it to the playoffs, to be honest. They're, they're, two, they're two spots out of the last playoff spot and two wins away. I mean, and two losses away from... The number two pick in the draft. I just don't under just that that's just baffling to me that, that they is, can still make the playoffs. You'd have to rip off a huge winning streak like you know, a hey, believe it or not, massive. hey, believe it or not. Believe it or not, right now the Panthers are not eliminated. <laughs> they're not. There's not there is a path. I well, looked it up my today. My sucky team is not eliminated. No, there is a path for them to get to the playoffs. It's like walking barefoot through the Smoky Mountains at night, but there's a path there. <laughs> Jeez, That's, you know, it's it's a it's a tough path, but but it's you're but the, saying the path is still there. Have you seen my team? Do you think they can win <laughs> six straight games to make the playoffs and hope that everyone loses ahead of them? No, but but it's possible. I'd have to <laughs> pray to Santa Claus for that to happen. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and jump on in. You had some, we had some fun. Right? We had. The Steelers, Bengals, and uh, we thought the Steelers would find a way to win this one without Joe Burrow. The Bengals are struggling a little bit. And, uh, and I'll, honestly, no Matt Canada either. It, Woo! If I'm a Bengals fan at this point, I would probably be okay with losing because it, you get Joe Burrow back next year, plus you get a high draft pick. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that, I mean, that's, that's actually not too bad because you know you're not going to win the Super Bowl this year. So why not go ahead and drop down to, you know, three and 14, four and 13, you know, and get you a high draft pick next year. You'll be even more potent. But, yeah, Matt Canada is gone. The Steelers have their first 400-yard game in 58 games. Matt Canada's really, <laughs> In other really words, Matt Canada's entire tenure, they never had a 400-yard game. Matt Can the first one he's gone, 400-yard game. Code war that is code for Matt Canada is bad as an <laughs> offensive coordinator. If you, if you didn't know for sure, he is. <laughs> And congrats to the Steelers. They keep on chugging along, man. Man, seven and four with that, with how they played earlier with Matt Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta give Tomlin something. He's gotta give something. We had the Jaguars Texans uh, uh, with a battle for division lead. That well, was actually a really good game. Uh, and the Texans were one fifty eight yard doink short yep. of tying the game. Yep, and it, what it literally bounced off the goalpost in it like. Ding. Or yep. it would have been into overtime. Congrats to the Jaguars. They are the I cream guess, of the crop in the, the AFC the, South. They're the youngest up-and-coming team, I guess, aren't they now? 
as far as you you know you feel like they're a toddler learning how to walk, run or something now you know that's doug peterson for you yeah that's doug peterson he you know he's been there before done that before we had the buccaneers colts this was a surprise for me honestly the, the colts are like frankenstein they've got different parts different players different this and the other and they and got it somehow, all together and somehow they're in the seventh spot of the playoffs with Gardner Minshew and Jonathan Taylor and company. Jonathan Taylor's probably the reason that they're there. He is he is scary good. But I really thought the Bucks might uh, pull that one out there. It's kind of weird. Uh, Shane Steichen went into the Colts, and it was a really bad situation. Ironically, taking over for the Frank Reich. Collapse last year. Yeah. And... Uh, He's taken them already. He's oh, he's already got more wins than he ever than he had in his last year with Dindy. Yep. Mm -hmm. So which kind of congrats makes me... to the co coaching, 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 coaching is I think still the biggest part of any sport. But Baker Mayfield got beat up in the game, and Todd Bowles. Yeah. Todd Bowles, honestly, he needs to go. He's a great defensive mind, but he's not a he's not a head coach. There's there's too much talent on that team to be losing to the Colts. And being four and I'm seven. I'm sorry, and being four and seven, yeah. Uh, we had the Saints at the Falcons. I really thought the Saints would win this one too, but the Falcons did. And now the Falcons are number. <laughs> they're five or and they're, six. The five and six and leading the division. Probably the crappiest division. That's in football. definitely the crappiest division in football. I mean, uh, five and six is goodness, winning her right now. Jesse Jesse Bates and his interceptions, man, returned a ninety-two yard. <laughs> Pick six that put Atlanta up for pretty much for the since the entire the game. game. Yeah, took them up the rest of the game. So congrats to the Falcons. I don't know how long it holds. Well, they might win the division, but I don't know how, <laughs> I don't far. Know how long that lasts. Think about what they're five and six, so there's uh, six more games. Let's say they go three and three, and they're eight and nine. They will host a playoff game at eight and nine. They need to just eliminate <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, uh, we had the Patriots Giants. For, Speaking of anemic offense, that was an ugly game, ten to seven. The Patriots are horrendous. They're really bad. They are really bad. Uh, to watch the offense is like having your eyes bleed. Yeah, it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> You're just waiting for it. You it's, know what's going to happen? I think Mac so Jones got benched for the. 100th time this year yeah he's been the the starter the backup the third string he's been out in the park a lot serving peanuts he's done everything and he's got the most interceptions of any quarterback this year uh -huh. and, I, and again i don't think he's a bad quarterback i think they've got some horrendous coordinators how I mean, about horrendous coordinators. how about bill o'brien bill o'brien has destroyed everything he's touched <laughs> and now he's destroying mac jones <laughs> that's about the deep, mildest way i can put that uh, congrats to Jalen Hato, his first 100-yard receiving game. And guess what and happened? The Giants won. <laughs> what a surprise. How many times wow. have, we, have, have we said if Jalen Hyatt gets 70 to 100 yards, they win? Well, Every game he's got 70 to 100 yards. Took you long won. enough. I don't know. Uh, we had the, the Rams Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals are bad. The Rams got uh, Stafford back, so... They're five and six, and they're, they're five in, and six. They're, speaking of it, they have some for a playoff spot. Yeah. yeah, they could. We had the Browns, Broncos. Uh, again, the Broncos are really trending surging. up. Surging. I saw today. Now, <laughs> you believe, last year and the year before, how many people had uh, Russ Wilson uh, in the retirement home? Ninety percent of the people out there. Guess where he's ranked today. Where? He's the ninth-ranked quarterback in the NFL. I want Bronco fans who criticized him <laughs> last year with Nathaniel the Hackett. Hackett was a horrible coach. And let's, what has he done with the Jets this year? Uh, Sucked. <laughs> and what has Russell did without him? He's a top-ten quarterback again. They've won how many, how many six in a row and a five in a row and a five, won five straight games, and they look dangerous <laughs> you get that? Yep. The Russ is, Russ is cooking. Russ is nickname. Remember, let's ride. Let's ride. And he's Bronco. taking the Bronco fans on a good ride. They are looking, looking. They are definitely looking better. Watch out for Denver. The Broncos down. are struggling with the rookie quarterback. What the Browns' offense has struggled as a whole. Yeah. That's really up to management. That's a managerial yeah. problem. That's not. A, that's not a player problem. Guess who may be the starter this week? Oh, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. Has a really good. I say. I say there's a 75 percent chance he starts this week. 
You know, I feel like the more experience you have under center with a team, Cleveland does have plenty of talent. He was at home cooking the turkey with his wife, and, and then they, hey, you want to play quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Cleveland does have a talented roster. They've got a super talent. De their defense is great. But their offense leaves them out to dry so many times. Yeah, it does, yeah. But I feel like that could be fixed if you just – one number one, you let go of Deshaun Watson. I know you're going to eat a bunch of money, but yeah, two hundred and fifty million dollars. Just borrow some money from Texas A&M. Uh, we had the Chiefs Raiders, and the Chiefs pulled it off by fourteen. We figured that the was going to happen. The first time that uh, Matt Nagy has squeaked out points in a second half, it was seventeen quarters. Oh, man, the Chiefs are struggling offensively under their new, new coordinator, Matt Nagy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Matt the Nag. -y. Matt the Nag. But the Chiefs <laughs> are still the Chiefs, and until somebody knocks off the Chiefs, they're the chance. Yep, they got to get their offense going. Oh, definitely, or somebody will. We had the Bills, Eagles, and man, the Eagles. Man, they keep finding ways to win football. They games. keep finding some way to win. Uh, the Bills had a wide receiver turn right instead of left, and or they would have won. And the Eagles find a way to get in. They they, they hit a sixty. Yard field goal with zero seconds left to because tie to go into overtime. There's some sort of – some people comparing Jalen Hurts to Tom Brady. I'll hold it right there. No, yeah, hold, yeah. I, I know he's good, but – Yeah, first of all, he lost it. last year, so. Hold it. <laughs> hold but they short. are finding it. some way to – Honestly, it's almost sort of scary, though. They remind me a little bit of last year's Minnesota. They win a lot of close games. They win a lot of close games, but – but Jalen Hurts is really good, though. He, he is really that. good. And I'm not a, saying that he's bad. I think he's really good. And A.J. Brown? Once again, he's got an excellent season under his belt. He is terrific, really yeah. Just <laughs> uh, so we'll just, we'll just see. The Eagles have some tough games coming up, so we'll just sort of see how they go. The, the Chiefs, I mean, the Bills have some tough games coming up, which we'll talk about here in a minute. So both of these teams, the, the Bills, though, really, if Desperate they don't start straight. winning – then there's going to be some uh, 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 exodus with Mass coaching exodus. and maybe players, yeah. Well, we had the Ravens, the Ravens Chargers. Ravens, uh, Ravens looked pretty good. Chargers are terrible. They need to fire that coach like now. Brandon Staley. Brandon Staley. He's the worst coach in the I've, NFL I've right now. Told, He's got to go. I told you that la this week. Sweep him away. I always wondered – I always told you, what is that stale piece of bread of a head coach going to do? I don't know. He's, he is uh, – And then he got – He's, he's going to uh, fuss out some reporters for asking him edgy questions. Like, can you adjust some your defense? I mean, that's a simple <laughs> simple question, and he treats it like it's a threat. Yeah, because, well, he knows his time. He can – He have you ever have you ever went into to a kitchen before and you, you smell something like maybe in a trash can that just didn't smell right? You know, like you rotten, you, like rotten eggs. Yeah, you just you didn't know what it was, but you know there's something rotten in here. That's probably what that <laughs> smells like. There, you go in there, and the reason rotten. And the why yeah. charger? Why the Chargers have not fired him is an indictment on the ownership. Yeah. Well, you know they they gave him another year, gave him a new offensive coordinator. So how's that been? He's got to well, go. Kellen Moore. He's he's got to go though. Uh, Monday Night Football. We had the Bears Vikings. That was the ugliest game I think I've ever seen in my entire life. The Bears are horrible, and the Vikings, uh, honestly, had a rough time, too. Their coach, who I thought was really, really well, that's probably one of the worst coach games I've seen in this year. Yeah, that was really – That was really bad. When you have Dobbs throw four interceptions and have him become an internet joke overnight. Whenever your defense gives you a turnover with two minutes left and you get minus one yards and punt it back so they can drive down and win the game – yeah, that's coaching. That's 100%. O'Connell you didn't, needs to you didn't figure even, that out. You didn't even try to get five yards to get a field goal? Yeah, that's you, you questionable. Didn't, you didn't go for the touchdown? Very, to, very, to, very to, questionable. To close the game out? Very questionable. I don't know. And the rest of the game. Anyways, the Vikings need to step up and uh, step around or they're going to be in trouble too. All right, let's, let's let's jump into our week 13 predictions. Thursday night football, we got a little Seahawks Cowboys at Cowboys. So I got to take the Cowboys. They are undefeated at home and. They're beating people by 25 points at home, so you got to take Cowboys minus nine and a half there. Uh, Sunday we got your Panthers. Oh heaven, help at me! At the Bucks, what do you think? 
Bucks win by 20. <laughs> I mean, they're really, really bad. Oh, I probably will Baker take Mayfield the Bucks. Baker Mayfield coming back to Carolina, it's going to be ugly. The Bucks at home coming off of a loss, you sort of got to take the Bucks. yeah. Chargers, Patriots, oh, gosh. That, <laughs> that, that hurts my stomach. <laughs> Chargers, Patriots. Maybe Tom Brady was right. Good Lord. Who do you take? Do you take Brandon the stale piece of bread? Or do you take Bill O'Brien? It's like choosing between a rotten tomato and a rotten piece of cheese. That's know. moldy and disgusting. I don't know. What I don't know. I don't. I don't want to pick that game. Yeah, please. Chargers <laughs> Patriots. I'm going to say Patriots because they're at home. I don't know. We got the Chargers Steelers. Go pick the Steelers because the Steelers are on a roll. They do not have Matt Canada now, so I'm going to take the. You're minus, free of you're the. You're free at last. Free at last. <laughs> The Steelers are finally uh, – oh, I'll take the Steelers minus five and a half on that one, yeah. I got the Colts-Titans. That's going to be a tough one. That will be a tough one. The Colts are on a roll right now. Honestly, I'd probably take the Colts. Do you know th this game has huge, huge implications on it, though, because the Colts have the, seven, the seventh playoff spot, and the Titans are only two spots out of it. So this could make it one. It'd be one game, yep. one spot out of the playoff spots. Or, but if the Titans lose, they're only they're still just two games out of the number two pick. <laughs> That's crazy, but I'll probably take the Colts. Uh, Broncos Texans. Talk about a big game. Big game. Six of five Broncos. Six of five Texans. Now this, this is, is more, playoff. Now this is better than the, whatever that Chargers Patriots yeah. slop was. C.J. Stroud looks really really good. Russell Wilson is has, cooking. Is cooking right now. And let's see who outduels the other. I'm going to honestly take the Broncos. I think they're on a roll right now. Yeah, the Broncos really look strong right now. Uh, I, I know it's at Houston, and the Houston's coming off, of, off of a loss, but you just got to go with the hot team, and I think it's the Broncos right now. Plus, you got three and a half. Uh, Lions, Saints, I would think the Lions. Bounce back. Bounce back after that. A lot of injuries going on with the uh, Saints. Uh, got the Falcons, Jets. Got to probably pick the Falcons, I guess. I guess. The Jets' defense oh, is did good. You, they did clear Aaron Rodgers to practice. Maybe he can save them. What was it? 10 weeks? 11 weeks after turning his Achilles? That's incredible. He's practicing. What What kind of surgery did he get? Did he get I want, surgery? I want, I want his doctor. <laughs> Whoever that is. I want his oh, doctor. Big L. I pre uh, maybe Aaron Rodgers can save your team. Now, they are, you know... Honestly, the Jets could win this game. It's not out beyond reason for the Jets to win this game because but the, there's only one thing. Hackett. Hackett is a bad offensive coordinator. The only thing that can save Hackett is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers can make him look good because he's Aaron Rodgers. That's it. Uh, Dolphins, Commanders, Dolphins. <laughs> the Commanders are spir spiraling out of control into the abyss. And Miami's going to tend them down to, to the abyss of the yeah, ocean. Yeah, it's minus nine and a half. I still like the Dolphins. 49ers, Eagles. That's the game of the week. I'm going to take the 49ers. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Even though it's at the Eagles, I still like the 49ers. Basically, mainly because the 49ers are uh, backfiring on every cylinder. And Philly has won eight games by the hair of their chinny chin chin. It's got to snap at some point. And I think this might be the game to do it. I think the 49ers have the defense good enough to slow down what they're doing. So uh, the Eagles are... Uh, the hey, the 49ers are actually favored by three, so but I'll definitely take the 49ers. Browns, Rams. This depends on quarterback play. This definitely depends on quarterback play. Uh, I would probably still take uh, Cleveland. I think that they were sort of in desperation mode, so there might be some some plays we've never seen before. There might be a little shift, a little toss back, a little flea flicker, a little something. You know, there's going to be something special to, to try to get this game going. Uh, we got the Chiefs, Packers. Ah, uh, yes. I, you got to go Chiefs there. The, yeah, the Chiefs. The Packers looked really good last week, so that means they're going to lose by 20 this week. <laughs> uh, and then finally, our Monday night football game, we got the Bengals-Jaguars. We probably take Jaguars. Yeah, definitely Jaguars on uh, that Jag one. Ja Jaguars on that one. All right, that's it. That is week 12. A little pick on week 13. Some of the NFL this week. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. Uh, thanks again for uh, SevereTV.com. Thanks again for Autographs Plus. Be sure to check them out. We've got a couple stores here in town. Severe will pitch for us. Uh, other than that, we'll see you next week for some more NFL football. See you next week.